What's going on guys? You think we could crush a bottle in a vacuum chamber? Just think of that for a second. How would we possibly do that? Um, everybody's doing stuff with vacuum chambers that involve exploding stuff, expanding it, because, well, you're pulling a vacuum, you're removing the air, and you're causing whatever inner pressure on whatever object to move out. But how could I crush something? I mean, you can do it with, like, the marshmallows. You expand them until you pop all those air bubbles, you let it back in, and you crush them. That's the only really thing I ever see crushed in a vacuum chamber. And I was thinking to myself, let's try to crush a bottle in a vacuum chamber. Before I show you how I figured out how to do it, just put into your mind for a second. Think of how you could crush a bottle in a vacuum chamber. Granted, no weights. Just crushing it in a vacuum chamber. All right, I'm going to give you guys a second to think of it. All right, here we go. This is how we're going to crush a bottle in a vacuum chamber. When I saw this, um, pardon the noise outside, it's a bit windy. When I saw this, um, when I was trying to think of how I could do it, I was thinking of like the Spangler effect and everything when they did the cans upside down in water. So what I hear is I have a bottle filled with water. And you're thinking, that's not gonna crush it. But I have a pin size hole going all the way to the bottom right here. So as I pull a vacuum, we are gonna lower this level down. You guys are gonna be able to see it the whole time it lowers down. And once it gets down all the way and this bottle empties, and I have duct tape on it so it doesn't float, all you have is a pinhole in there. And when I release the air back in, the water should not be able to go through that pinhole quick enough. And the outside atmospheric pressure should crush this bottle. That is how we're gonna crush a bottle in a vacuum chamber. Oh, and if anybody else wondered, that's how I fixed my bowling problem. I took one of the scrap pieces of acrylic glued it onto the lid on the top, like this, and that has fixed my bowing problem. So now, all I need is a better, and I do mean better, vacuum pump, because if I leave this thing on long enough, I only get 26 out of it, and that's leaving it on for a while. So, here we go. Let's watch her go down. Water's evacuated out of it. And we have a little bit of condensation in it. That bottle is 100% dry from full water. So I'm going to kill the vacuum, let in air, and the water should not be able to get in quick enough, and it should crush. We're using a vacuum chamber to crush your bottle. Here we go. Three, two, one. Crush. That is how you crush, it's raining outside now, pardon me, but that's how you crush a bottle in a vacuum chamber. I thought this was a cool little science experiment, it's actually how we can use a vacuum and some water to actually crush stuff. I might try this with a few different things later. There it is with a bottle, I bet I could do it with a can too. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of cool way I found out how to crush a bottle in a vacuum chamber. And if you guys enjoyed this anyway, found it interesting, please give a like, comment, subscribe, share it. It really help out. I'm really trying to grow. You guys can give me a hand, share it. And hey, maybe I might come up with some more cool stuff to do in here. 